This is Chris Yadaho Painter. In this video, we've got a gate right here. We're gonna be spraying this gate. I'm gonna be painting it with some universal paint right here from Rust-Oleum. This is a metallic oil rub bronze paint and showing you how we're actually go about setting this thing up. And we got two ladders right here, got an extension pole and some wire to hang this gate so we don't actually have to lay it down and flip it on buckets or something. So now we can actually just walk around, spray this gate very easily with our spray cans. And this is a self priming product right here. It's an excellent product right here to actually spray exterior metal with. And this is once again an oil rub, rub bronze color. So we're gonna show you how we go about spraying this gate. And you can see here we got this really cool setup here to hang it and now we're gonna get ready to spray it. So I'm just gonna get ready, start spraying this thing. Got multiple cans of this oil rub bronze and we're gonna take and make sure it's all cleaned really well. We've actually power washed it, cleaned it. We're gonna just do some light sanding on it and then we'll begin spraying it. So I'm just going to be using a 3M sanding sponge right here to sand this gate. Now I got this uh, gate all sanded with my medium sanding sponge and now I'm gonna just take a cleaner right here. This is a cleaner and a deglosser. And I'm just gonna wipe down this thing and clean it really well before spraying it. This is a product right here from M1 and this stuff is um, just use full strength. Just gonna pour some in a five gallon bucket. Got myself a really clean rag and I'm gonna begin cleaning it. All right, so I decided my dad has a bunch of awesome workers here who have been painting and are surrounded by painting objects like paint, paintbrushes, ceram wrap. Okay, not ceram wrap. Whatever that masking stuff is called. So a few tips when you're actually spraying this gate, I'm actually spraying it with these spray cans and if you watch, I'm not actually releasing the trigger on the spray can because it'll cause spits and this is a metallic finish and you want it to actually gel out, not have spits and you want it to just be a continuous spray and your actual gate will look a lot better and you won't have, well, we have like dry feathers or um, like overlap marks. I'm kind of sprayed all continuously, get it to gel out. Also, another tip, use a mask get a lot of overspray in the air. You don't want to breathe this stuff because you're spraying quite a few. I'm going to go through about four cans on this. I got drop cloths on the ground because there's going to be a lot of fallout, fallout coming onto the grass. You, the first time you mow the grass, it'll be gone anyways, but it's just better not to get overspray on the customer's grass. But, you know, watch as I spray this thing and the technique I'm using, I'm not, you know, um, spraying it, releasing the trigger. I'm spraying it continuously without, without releasing it. Something. <laughs> <laughs> My house. Oh, <laughs> My gate. <laughs> 